fuck? Imagine. Now it's somewhere else. We are here at Boston University. Yay, Boston University. I think we've been here before too. I wish we were here longer. Just so we can stay out of school. Totally right. Hi you guys, I know you guys are kind of filtering down. Um, I'm Liz Roberts, I'm the head women's lacrosse coach here at BU. I actually coach both of Mr. Martin's daughters. They both play for me here, which is pretty fun. So what we're going to do is, uh, I know you guys are probably hungry and you're going to want lunch. We're just going to hit up two quick places just to kind of show you around. I know you took a tour of Harvard. This will be a little bit smaller. Um, and very different landscape, you guys can see. So unlike Harvard that kind of has that central campus feel, BU is more of an urban campus. So this is the end of it. This is called West Campus. It's all athletic facilities from field hockey, indoor track and tennis courts to what you're going to see across the way um, with our field. Everything then goes down Commonwealth Avenue. So it's just on one road going straight down on both sides of Commonwealth Avenue until you get to Fenway Park. Do you guys know who plays at Fenway Park? They were there yesterday. Okay, so Boston Red Sox. So that actually is the beginning of our campus, which is pretty cool for us. So that's where it starts and comes up here. So we're just going to show you around a little bit of this stuff right here. You doing? <laughs> it's all right. Just walk on here. You good? It's no, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. I'll be. Ba, ba, ba. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. What? Oh, don't. Talk about himself. Right. But in general, what they do is after their academic day, they'll come over here, and then where Maria's going, it's actually you'll see a bunch of red lockers built down that hallway. That's where all their equipment gets done. So their laundry is one of the nice perks. All their laundry gets done every day. Not their like nice clothes or jeans and everything like that. But in terms of all their athletic clothing, they can wash it every day, they can pick it up, which is really great. So they'll pick it up there, and then they'll head down here to our locker, which will give you guys a little show into. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, teams it's for video usage it's for any scouting report stuff it's anytime we want to do meetings we have our own space I'm um, just so I feel like a lot of times you're always fighting for it so it's one of the things we do is actually a great job of making sure we have what we need so all right head in here it's a little we got some stuff we, our, our shed got destroyed by the snow so we have more stuff in here than normal Hello? hi Um, which is a great situation. We are sponsored. You're more than welcome to the brown light. We're sponsored by Under Armour. So from puffy coats that you see in here, raincoats, um, the shoes, the sticks, everything, the cleats. Wow. This is the space that they have. So this is their space to use as they wish. Um, you'll see obviously pictures of our seniors across the top, which is awesome. This is also something we do over here. It's our star chart board. So we have different star stats for every single game. And at the end of the year, um, we kind of we'll, we'll put together which team wins, the red team or the white team. Everyone's in a group, either red or white, for their entire career um, here, which is pretty fun. And then at the end of it, uh, the winning team will get a nice dinner kind of taken out by the coaches, which will be fun. So one of the fun things, too, again, you see everyone's nameplates are up here. And then what we've also done inside every single jersey uh, is you see it's called a jersey plate. 
So we have one right here, Angie Martin, right oh, there. Is that where she was? Yep, so that was Angie's locker. So anyone that's ever played for us, we put their name and their jersey number inside the same locker of the person who wears their jersey now. So it's one of those things. But you guys can feel free to walk around. Go ahead. Just kind of check it out. I know there's a lounge in the back. It's got some bags. from. We just got back from Colgate at 2 a.m. last night. Really? So the girls definitely decorate um, the locker room for different games and different themes and theories. So they were all, um, I guess they had some sort of, we're all singers. <laughs> so whether they, they, I don't know how they did all of it, but they kind of took their personalities and did that. <laughs> Who was in there? You guys can go in there. They're just awkward. Just two of our players. They're fine. Hi, guys. Uh, I'm Bianca. I'm a sophomore. <laughs> <laughs> sophomore goalie. Yes, yeah, sophomore Christine's goalie. really not even moving either. Mm -hmm. Hi. Yeah, hi. Nice here. But it's one of those things, again, the guys have TV, they have a place to be, even though they allow it to get a little messy. Um, but it's pretty much their space that they can use. And so in between classes, they'll come in here. Um, before practice is one of those things. Uh, whenever they have some downtime, if they need to study, it's a fully wireless room, so they can do any of their studying they want to in here. Just because some of the girls live in a dorm that's right above us, some of the girls live in a dorm that's right up the road. And then we have actually a bunch, we have two off-campus houses where, where some of the student athletes live, where you guys actually drove down. So some of those roads where those houses are, that's where the girls live. So rather than going back to their houses in between classes and all that, they can come here. And they can use it as a study session, which is pretty cool. So we opened it actually the year that, that Angie, um, Mr. Martin's oldest daughter, that the year she was a senior is when we opened this locker room and then we've had it. So we've made some renovations to it in here, but for the most part, it's kind of been our home for, for a little while. Yeah. yeah. I, I've forgotten that. I have a question. Why are there random faces on like famous people? Bianca. Uh, well, so one of our like each time we have a home game, uh, like each <laughs> class is responsible for decorating the locker room. So my class decided to do like rock star theme, um, and then you do like different like slogans for the game, like let's rock whoever we're playing that weekend, whatever. <laughs> and then we just took like people's personalities and put their faces on different singers just to like there it is. just for a little motivation. Yeah. <laughs> but and then like last weekend was. St. Pat or last weekend or the weekend before was St. Yeah. Patty's Day weekend, so um, we did like St. Patty's Day theme. The freshmen did, it, and there's like you can still see it, like the pot of um, lacrosse, lacrosse balls, pot of gold, and we had like all different um, St. Patty's Day stuff. So it was kind of decorated yeah. to get everyone pumped up for the games. Yeah, yeah it's fun. She keeps it light and keeps yeah. it loose on game day. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, it's fun. So it's good stuff. I know it's nice, and it, one of the also nice things to do for them, like we said, is they have showers and bathrooms in here. So a lot of times when we leave, when they have to leave from here to go to class. They can come here, shower, go right to class. So it's again, they don't have to go back to their their dorm room um, because you know I know you guys are like this is awesome perks. They're putting in a lot of hours every single week, so I think it's one of those things. You know, we lift in the mornings on Mondays at 6 a.m. So they have to. Yeah, I know. It's like, whoa, why would I do that? So they're here at 6 a.m. ready to go on Tuesdays. We practice at 6:15. So it's so a lot of them come right in here early in the morning, and then they need to be ready to go to class. So as soon as practice is done at 7:15, 7:30, they come in here, shower, and go right to class. So. Kind of makes it easy so they can do everything because a lot of their time is spent over in this area. And they're all good student athletes. Yes, mm -hmm. that's actually yeah. one of well, right now, especially with our team. I mean, our team GPA is just under 3.2 cumulative for everybody, um, and it's something that's actually really important in order to get into BU. The GPAs have gotten a lot tougher uh, since mm -hmm. since the girls came through. So your girls would have no problem getting in here, but there are a good amount of girls that would not have gotten in nowadays. <laughs> so a little different. So yeah, cool. We're gonna head back out that way, so you guys can lead us out that way. Cool.
late or early 90s, so I'm not sure. I don't know a lot about football. We don't have it now. However, as Harvard tends to be a football school, we're an ice hockey school, okay? So that's where a lot of our, sorry, we're near. That's where a lot of our players, we have a lot of players right now, 82 exactly, that have gone on to the NHL. Have any of you guys seen the movie Miracle? Hey. hey. Okay, so you got some Miracle fans? So this is the original rink that they all played in. It's currently our women's hockey rink. Aganis Arena is where the men play now, but this is where everyone from, Mike Ruzioni and all those guys all played in here. So you guys are more than welcome to come on in. So Rizzo played in here. Yep. This is the rink that he played in. That's again a Serena. That's where our men's ice hockey team plays. Basketball play there sometimes as well. And then we have our pool, our competition pool. And then everything down campus, as you go back towards Fenway Park, where you guys were yesterday, that's all our academic buildings. And they're on both sides. Uh, it's one of those nice things, again, being a city campus, is that you're not kind of walking over huge quads and needing a car. On our team, one player has a car. Nobody needs it. There's no need. You can walk, you can Uber, you can take the T, you can do anything right there. But in general, all their classes are really just kind of right on one road. So I always say when people get lost, they have a problem because we're on one road. Go right or go left. You can't get lost. So, um, any questions about the school, about our athletics, about anything? Well, big thing, I mean, you guys are gonna eat dinner or eat lunch up there. Lunch is one of our favorite meals here. They have a ton of options. Everything up in, it's called um, the Fresh Food Company. Everything is actually made from scratch. So when you guys go up there, if you're getting, I don't even know what they'll have today, but whatever it is, everything is homemade. So whether, even when they do chicken tenders, they actually cut them and bread them themselves. So it's one of the great things. I would say that um, our players definitely eat well here. All of the students eat well here, but it's, a, it's an all you can eat lunch. Feel free, enjoy it and all that kind of good stuff. But if you guys are in the area, come by, check us out. We always have games going on. Um, but it's, it's, a, it's a fun feel. It's definitely a different campus feel. I know for some people they're like, whoa, we're really in the city. 
I think that's where a lot of our student athletes kind of enjoy the fact that we have this amazing green space in the middle of the city that, that we can that's use. Cool Angie here, yeah. The urban team, because she was comparing to all these other schools. Yeah. She said, I really like the urban and the team concept. Yeah. yeah but you don't get bored. I think that's one of the things that, like, you're not going to do the same thing every day because you have the city of Boston to explore. You have Cambridge. You know, we have a lot of girls, obviously. Jenny, who you guys met earlier today, she met a guy from Harvard. Met an EU and BC connections. BC is only two miles away from us, just going out of the city a little bit more. So it's pretty cool for the fact that you have all these colleges that are around each other in terms of whether it's friends, in terms of socially, just in all that respect. It's, it's a really neat environment. I know they do. They go up to those football games and across to those and yeah. have a good time. That's awesome. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm going to head out and yeah. be helping these guys. Um, but enjoy lunch. If you guys have any problems getting that sign, you let me know. Yeah. And I can make sure to get that done. But I hope you guys enjoy your time up in Boston before you head back down to warmer, sunnier Maryland. Which, yeah, <laughs> I know we, we got the gray weather up here. At least our snow is melting. So yeah. that's kind of one of the perks. Which is unusual. Isn't it? I know. <laughs> it's usually a little bit nicer. Like, yeah. it's usually nicer. Yeah, it's oh, yeah. Well, thank you. You're welcome. I'm You're really welcome. Appreciate. It was awesome oh, to see yeah. you. Oh, thank Good you so much. You. Yeah, man, you guys have fun. Again, What I think, so that's open if yeah, you guys want to walk right up. There, right? And cut right around. I think you guys yeah, are good. You, it's awesome. This is for you. You got you. The, oh my goodness, we, we thank you. We put together a bag of Baltimore stuff for you. Awesome. All good food, all made for Baltimore. Love it. Does, so. Is your wife's crab dip in here? Uh, well, there, there's an um, old bag, <laughs> but we'll have to take care of you. Come down yes. next time. He's let us down. We'll bring you there. Yes, I'm in for that. I'm serious. No, I we definitely were, we will. We were somewhere, and Linda said, <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, that will make this. I will let her know the next time we're coming down. That's awesome. That's cool. You're welcome. You guys enjoy your time here. Take any pictures you want to take. Do it up. But if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. You can find my information on the website. Okay. You're welcome. You're very welcome, guys. Can we walk behind? Yeah, I would walk behind. Guys, walk behind because they're gonna be shooting. Don't get hit. We sh $25. Yeah, I really want to take a trip up here this summer. Yeah. Like get a bunch like get a bunch of us together and just come up here for like a weekend. Or maybe even more than that, because this is amazing. I, if I wanted to, I could actually move up here. You know? Like it's really nice. I, I really like it up here. I'm surprised we haven't even thought of moving. You know, maybe maybe once I'm done with uh, CCBC, I'll probably move up here. You know, because oh, yeah, cool. I mean, it's really it's really it's a really wonderful city, really nice, very professional. I want to I, 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 I want to go to college here, but like not live here, like because you know why? Because um, I just like the um I like green space, but it's like a very nice city to study. Go to college, very nice. Yeah, very nice. You get it? Oh, there is. Hold on. Wait, what? <laughs> What are you doing? Are you really? What is he doing? What? What is this dude? What is he doing? Come on, snowball. Bro. It's the end of March and you find snowballs in this. No, it don't work. It don't work like that. Oh, wait a minute. What? That's like a practice. <laughs> 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 oh, it's not going to be.